Guys, welcome back to the Hustling Muscle Show. As I was saying, we had a little bit of a technical glitch, and I'll let me see if I can find my guest now. And let me see if I can find her, send out a request. Yes, I wave out. Erin, you could just join and send a request, and I would let you in. Yes, view request, go live with. And yes, I have approved. Okay. Hey, hey Aaron, <laughs> finally, you're here. Okay, everybody. So, as I was saying, welcome to the Hustling Muscle Show. And this is my very first international fitness expert that I'm having. Okay, <laughs> guys, Aaron comes with a lot of experience, and we are talking about keto. Keto, a subject that a lot of people have been asking about. A lot of people who want to try keto. There are many versions of keto is going on. So, I thought, why not, you know, talk about keto and get somebody who has done her research, who has done her in-depth study on keto and let her give her version, you know, let her basically explain what keto is. Erin, if you could give a small introduction about yourself before we start, that would be great for the viewers. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> um, I'll just, I'll try to be brief. I'm, I'm sorry. I had no idea I couldn't join on my computer. No so problem. I'm, I'm actually holding my phone by my hand. So if I wiggle around a little this time, That's I'm right. very you, sorry. You want you can place it somewhere comfortably. <laughs> Okay. I'll, you know what? I'm just going to, before, I'll, I won't do that to you right now. That's so, okay. Um, I think you'll, you'll be more comfortable that way. <laughs> maybe I can set it on top of my, yeah, maybe. Maybe this is, well. you can see up my nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fine. I'll just, uh, I'll hold on to my computer screen and then, yeah. Here we go. Not I'll buy one of those little thingies for, you know, next time. So, uh, to hold my phone. So, um, yeah, I am Erin uh, Maurer. I'm an American. I'm living in Switzerland. Um, and I am a, um, a coach, uh, a nutrition coach. Um, I uh, have went on this path because I, you know, I went through my own health problems. And um, after a lot of research and a lot of help from, from doctors and coaches and uh, myself, um, I had uh, some very great experiences and uh, decided to go ahead and, and go into uh, helping others um, the way that I was helped. And I uh, have a lot of fun doing that. Um, and I did decide to do um, uh, low carb and ketogenic nutrition because that is ultimately what, um, what was necessary for me. And that's where I like to hang out. I like to hang out and, in, in, uh, you know, um, and do a lot of um, research uh, on that and um, spend my time, uh, you know, attending uh, metabolic health summits and <laughs> things like that. And uh, it's just, it's fun. Um, so I don't know uh, how good of an introduction that was, but but there you have it. I'm a big fan, by the way. I love watching your podcast and oh, you guys nice. are so awesome. I'm like, woohoo. <laughs> this is exciting. No, we, we, are, we, are happy to, we are happy to have you because you're the first international expert that we have been able to rope in for a session here. I'm looking for many more sessions to come. And we're talking about a subject called keto. And when you say Switzerland, for us, Indian Switzerland is something very great. For me, I've only visited Switzerland in, you know, Yash Chopra's movies. You know, we have a very famous movie maker here. So his favorite location used to be Switzerland. So I think we have a lot of memories with Switzerland and the movies and the shoots there. So how much of a Switzerland we have seen, we've seen it on big screens and the movie theaters and things like that. <laughs> it's a beautiful country. So... Erin, moving to the very first question that I have, what is a ketogenic diet? Can you explain um, to the viewers, because there are so many people out there today talking about keto, their own versions of keto. Let us hear about keto from an expert who comes with that study, with that research. Could you share your views on this with the viewers? Uh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, so yeah, um, it might seem like, uh, you know, today's, a ketogenic diet was cooked up by a fitness fanatic who likes to eat bacon and wanted to make some extra money. Um, but that's actually uh, not the case. Um, uh, the ketogenic diet um, is actually something that, um, or, you know, similar types of diets, low carb diets have been used uh, throughout history um, to treat things like, um, you know, epilepsy and diabetes and obesity, um, and also even um, migraines. Um, and this is before medication came along, before insulin came along, you know. Um, and, um, and there have been indigenous groups also throughout history that have just have traditional ketogenic diets, you know. Um, but 
the the modern ketogenic diet, the one that we know, you know, that we're kind of basing our our diet, our meal plans on, um, was actually developed in the early 1900s. It was developed by um, medical professionals to treat epilepsy. And when they were looking for something that they could use, um, because fasting was actually used to treat epilepsy and to stop epileptic fits um, with a great degree of success. Um, but, you know, how long can you fast a person before they die, right? Um, and they were looking for something to imitate the state of fasting in the body without starving a person to death. Right. And so they came up with the, you know, they, with this ketogenic diet and, um, you know, fast forward to now, um, and medicine is becoming very much more integrated. You know, they're finding out about all the connections in the body and, you know, physical health, mental health, um, and how important they all are and, and how much they affect each other and just, um, the cellular health, how much of an effect it has on hormones and all kinds of stuff, you know? So, um, so they're using the ketogenic diet um, in, in the medical field now, and they're doing a lot of testing with it, and it's very exciting. You know, um, it has powerful anti-inflammatory effects. It provides easy and clean energy to the cells, you know, very exciting stuff, um, very beyond what a lot of people are familiar with, which is I can lose a lot of weight fast, right? I mean, <laughs> which I'm not, I'm not saying that you should try the ketogenic diet if all you want to do is lose a lot of weight fast. You need to think about it first if it's the right thing for you. But um, although, and it does work though that way, but I think uh, we'll get into that uh, later. Um, so let me, um, you know, for those of you who are like, what the heck is keto? Um, uh, really briefly, uh, I, to un you need to understand a little bit about how the body uses energy, how, you know, that it comes from carbohydrates, it comes from fats. Um, we won't talk about protein. It's not an efficient source of energy. The body uses it in the end stages of starvation for energy. It's used for other things mainly, you know. But so carbs and fats um, are used by the body. Carbs preferably. Our body likes to use sugar, okay? Carbohydrates are made up of sugars, starches, fiber, um, and starches break down to sugars as well in the body. So um, I'm going to give it to you uh, super, super simple. Um, um, Sugar is, um, you know, our body takes in sugar and, uh, you know, it's, it's not, not, let me do it this way. Okay, so um, fat is the source of energy as well. I'll, I'll backtrack a little bit. Um, the fat that we get in our diet um, is used as energy, but also um, it's stored. And also we have fat stored in our bodies that used to be sugar. Right. And um, this is really important when, when we learn about the ketogenic diet. Okay. Sugar. How, why is sugar converted into fat? Okay. So picture this, you have a, a loaf of bread and you cut it into three chunks, right? And you eat the one chunk right away for energy. And then you have a little one person size fridge and then you stick the second chunk in that little fridge and you're going to take it out tomorrow and eat it. Right. And there's no more space in the fridge um, for more bread. So you put the other chunk in the freezer for, for a month later right or something like that okay and this is this is how it works with sugar in our body you know our body takes in the sugar um the carbohydrate and and, and um and we won't get into the different kinds of sugar it breaks down into no we'll just call it all sugar so um it, it takes in the sugar and then it burns part of it right away for energy and then it stores part of it in the liver in the muscle cells um for you know easy access energy but those storage uh, areas are limited yeah and so the rest of it gets put in your body's freezer it gets turned into fat and put in fat storage cells fat storage cells are, are there you know you can store an unlimited amount of fat okay and so um first the body will use the sugar for energy and then it will go to fat that's how we function okay what the ketogenic diet does and finally i'm coming to it and it's real short. What the ketogenic diet does is it keeps the carbohydrate intake, the sugar intake low enough at all times that your body actually switches over to using fat as its main energy source. So it becomes really easy for your body to take in fat, to use the fat. Um, and this is why people tend to lose weight, uh, you know, easily on the ketogenic diet. So um, this has, um, this can have some major um, benefits for people with insulin resistance related health issues and okay. glucose uptake issues.
So that's all. Sorry, that was really long, huh? <laughs> no, but that, that was quite a bit of information that you gave out. I think the way you've explained about keto, I think very few people have done. So it's very important for the viewers to know because when everybody says ketos, it's very important for them to actually know how the entire thing works. So I think the information that you've given out is very, very good. Now, my next question to you, Stan, is, is there a right versus a wrong way to do a ketogenic diet? <laughs> There's so many wrong ways to do the ketogenic diet and <laughs> a few right ways. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, let me, um, let me go into the wrong ways first. Okay. Um, people, um, the first way, okay. Not knowing enough about it. Um, people forget or they don't know that the ketogenic diet is being used and tested in the medical field. Okay, if the, if the FDA had an approval process for diets, the ketogenic diet would be an approved drug. It's prescription strength, okay? If you are on regularly prescribed medication, you have to know if that medication is, how it's gonna interact with the ketogenic diet because some medications, as you go on the ketogenic diet, you have to be weaned off of them. Some medications will prevent you from having success on the ketogenic diet, right? They prevent your body from being able to use the fat efficiently, right? And so maybe you have to switch to another medication. And these are all things you have to be like, like this with your doctor on, right? Mm. Um, they have to know what you're doing. And, and, and some people have, yeah, yeah, it's super important. Um, the uh, other things like, you know, as you transition, you can feel sick if you don't realize that you need to get enough salt intake and, and certain minerals, right? I mean, a wrong way to, to do it is not to eat a, a well-balanced ketogenic diet. There's something called dirty keto. Mm -hmm. um, I can go live off, you know, bunless burgers from McDonald's and I'm keto because I didn't eat a bun. <laughs> yeah, your body really needs nutrients. I mean, if you don't want to be popping supplements right and left, um, your body needs nutrients and you want to get those nutrients from whole food sources. Mm. Um, so um, a wrong way is uh, not to record your food intake. A lot of people think they're in ketosis. They think they're below that a certain threshold of carbohydrate intake, and they're not, okay? And they wonder what's going on, and, um, and they're not aware because they're not recording their food intake. Um, so those are some things that um, one other very important point, and I think this is important because it's not safe. People will try to go do a ketogenic diet uh, low carb, and they'll think, I can lose weight faster if I also do low fat at the same time. That is dangerous. It's not a good idea. The caloric intake will drop far too low, okay? And super low caloric diets should only be undertaken with doctors. So, um, and it won't work. So there, stay away from it. Okay, so the right way, um, work with your doctors. Uh, it's very helpful to, you know, work with professionals who can, like, help you along the way. It is it can be easy, it can be really fun and, and, and satisfying, but it can also, but that's if you have the right tools and you have the right support. And there are very few people who can just set out and just be like, I can do this all by myself and, mm. you know, woo, okay? So um, I hope that that's, um, as far as a, one more thing I'll say, one last thing on that is when I talk about a well-formulated ketogenic diet, don't do the junk food route, okay? Um, because you can do many diets the wrong way. You can be vegan and live off, you know, vegan junk food, right? Or you can vegan whole food, just like, you know, with the ketogenic diet, you get your protein from whole food sources, um, try to stay away from processed meats. Your carbohydrates will come from vegetables. They'll come from nuts, seeds, berries, things like that, um, and healthy fats. So uh, super important. Um, this is, uh, yeah. I hope I answered it, everything. So I think I'm going to say, uh, what I can add here is <laughs> when you're looking for a good, a proper ketogenic diet, you need to have an expert, an expert like Erin. Okay, a person who knows that, who Call knows, <laughs> who knows the business, who knows the entire subject in and out. That is the whole thing. See, even when I tell people my transformation, my weight loss, it's not something that I have done. I've had coaches, I've had teachers who've taught me, who've explained things to me. I repeatedly keep telling this on the show for one simple reason that people, you cannot think that you can do these things on your own. You can read about it, research about it and do it. Unless you have the capabilities and knowledge to break that research, like somebody like an Erin, then it is different. You need to be, you need to go to certified people. People have done 
an in-depth study and certified on that particular subject that's when it works for you because they know what's best now sticking on to keto my next question erin a ketogenic diet helped you in many ways i've read your blogs and i've seen your website why don't you share your story let the viewers also take a small learning from your experience okay well um yeah uh, i when i was young um i grew up in a household where we ate whole foods um we ate very low sugar um we ate very low fat uh we ate whole grains we only ate whole grains my mom only let whole grains in the house and um i remember prepared cereal we got that at christmas time in our stocking yeah or pop tarts you know we got it at christmas time in our stocking <laughs> we had a really healthy diet um and um it was uh you know the most we ate was whole grains you know and then we ate a lot of vegetables and then after that you know it was protein and and a lot of legumes um so i would say you know according to the knowledge at the time that was a very healthy diet and it wasn't an unhealthy diet um but um as i when i hit puberty I I before even puberty I struggled with um fatigue and I struggled I started having migraines and when I hit puberty I started um having struggle with weight even though before I was you know a toothpick I could eat whatever I wanted you know um not that I was eating cake and ice cream but um I started struggling with weight um I ha- had uh, developed a lot of the symptoms of PCOS and um uh, at the time um you know I didn't know what that was um and i just went on i you know chronic fatigue i just uh and as i got older my health just got worse and worse you know um, my headaches and my fatigue i was a neurotic you know i was i had anxiety my anxiety just shot through the roof um and um a lot of other issues and um you know at some point um you know i had a doctor that was like oh you have pcs just go on the pill and take it all the time and then you'll feel a little better <laughs> you know which is like sticking a bandaid on the festering wound and underneath everything continues to go on you know but that's what that's what people did back then so um you know fast forward to later and um i got some really good doctors um who said oh hey you have some you know metabolic health issues um your insulin is resistant you're super insulin resistant and i was like what's that i thought that's a diabetic thing and they're like oh no <laughs> and uh, you know and then also pcos uh let's take away the pill and you need to drop the carbs you need to go on a ketogenic diet you know and i thought at the time i was like like what the heck that's that bacon and cream diet and that's not healthy i'm you know i thought my doctors were woo right and uh, but but i was willing to look into it right So I I did a lot of research. I looked into it. That's when I discovered that it was really big in the medical field. I had no idea. I'd never looked into it before. So I did go ahead and and um look into that and I did actually um you know they set me up with some you know I had some health coaches and I first did you know something more like a Mediterranean diet um you know lowering my carb intake which was very high before they were healthy carbs which is fine for people who can handle that many healthy carbs but I couldn't so i reduced it and then you know went into something like what is known as a paleo diet which is taking away the grains and the dairy and and so reduce my carbs further and then i actually did the ketogenic um diet and uh, after that um and it was on the ketogenic diet that i started just naturally losing weight um and i lost i lost like i think 75 pounds so far yeah. <laughs> you know and i and i actually you know the energy that i never had i just really the energy i had so i have so much energy that i'm like i need to go running to work up my energy you know and then uh you know my my brain fog i had brain fog i don't have that anymore i don't have not anemic i don't have chronic fatigue what else can i say i mean a lot of my pcos symptoms reverse so you're totally so a new person this. Yes, I feel like I'm a new person. I feel like somebody gave me a new life and kind of like a new body. Well, when you say 75 and pounds that's that's an achievement I must say because I know that it takes it takes effort to lose that much of you know weight from your body because I I never me- measured myself but I know I've been there so I've done something similar to that but yes I know the effort that takes in let it be a diet let it be a workout it takes a lot of dedication determination and effort. So yeah. It's true. very good. Thank you. Well, it's true and I I was so excited and I have to say um, I did go on I was like this is 
this is what I want to do. I mean, my kids were getting older. They didn't need me as much anymore. I'm like, you know, it was all kind of happening at the same time. And I was like, I want to, I want to help other people the way that I've been helped. I was so amazed and so excited. And so I went ahead and I got um, ISSA uh, nutritionist certification. And then after that, I did a ketogenic coding certification. So because I really wanted to work with people who struggle, like, you know, well, with metabolic you health were, issues. You, 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 you want to give them the same gift that you received. So that's something very exactly. nice. So I, I very exactly. much believe in that because I, I'm not a technical expert. I, I don't have the patience to study. And, you know, I, a lot of people ask me, why don't you become a trainer? No, you've lost. You can train people. You know about workout. But I'm like, no, the anatomy of muscle is something very, very big. And I will not do that. And I don't understand nutrition because when you tell me, you give me a potato, I'll say, yes, this is potato. This is a nice carb. But when you ask me the nutrients in it, I will not know. Okay. Now, yeah. even if somebody tells me how much protein do they need for their body, I will not have the calculation, nor am I giving them random information. So I, what I do is I connect them to people like you. I connect them to people like Dr. Mukherjee, Gauri Shingote. Yeah. I connect them to experts. So that's what I do. That's, that's, what, that's how I'm helping the people out there. But people like you who go back, study, certify yourself, and then, you know, give the gift to people. You guys are the real, you know, are the real players of this thing. So you guys are the real gifts. So moving to my next question, because I think people must have got a very good idea and knowledge from your experience. They must have seen, okay, what she went through, how she did it, and you know, how it is. So, you know, it's something very, very impressive. So I hope people have made notes and, you know, people are listening because it's not every day we come across, you know, such a story. Now, my next question, as I was saying, many people do feel that, you know, they don't get the same energy from keto. Okay, they, I, I, I remember this particular person following keto diet. He came for a workout with me, but halfway through his workout, he's like, no, I don't have the energy. And I was like, I asked him about his diet and things like that. He's like, no, I do a keto diet. So I was not very much aware about a keto diet that time. Then I was like, okay, let me research on it. So my thing is, do you think there is something wrong with the way people do a keto diet? Because I know you say it's a low carb diet, everything. And, but the energy levels... Okay, is there a mistake that these people are making somewhere in their diet? Are they making an error somewhere? <laughs> well, okay, so the first thing is it could have been if it wasn't something that they were doing wrong, that during the transition phase, it does take the body some time to really become um, fat adapted, which is basically, you know, easily going right to the fat that you're taking and burning it, going to the body stores, burning it for energy. It takes time. It can take, um, you know, from two weeks to, to more than that. And it's during this time, if he was in the transition phase, it's during that time that people might feel a little less strength. Um, and uh, especially when, the, you know, they're trying to do cardio and, and stuff like that. So, uh, and that is normal. But after that, and these the studies show that after that, that it goes right back up and then it can even go beyond. So, um so if he was in the transition phase, then that would be something he doesn't really need to worry about. Now, um, one of the hallmarks of a ketogenic, a well-formulated ketogenic diet um, is the energy that you get from it, especially for people who have insulin resistance problems. Um, the difference between before and after, right, is going to be amazing. Um, but one thing is, my question would be, is he tracking, is he really in ketosis is you really um because between when you're between the keto which is maybe about 50 total carbs a day max and um you know just above that at under 150 grams of carbohydrates total a day you're still mainly your body's still using the sugar um mainly and but that's a low enough level of sugar intake that your body is gonna not be able to quite get as much energy as it needs okay so he could have been not you know getting the right carb intake and if he wasn't um um and his body was still trying to intake the sugar um so then he would be have low energy if that makes sense if that makes sense to you um and the other thing i would say is mm, we get really full in the ketogenic people who do keto um protein and fat fills you up Okay. Mm -hmm. People find themselves eventually eating less 
and maybe less often. I remember <laughs> sometimes I have to remind myself to eat. My family reminds me that it's mealtime, so mom, you cook, right? And so, um, but it's easy to drop below a healthy caloric intake. You still have to get enough calories. Um, and so I find myself, you know, if I find myself getting a little low on energy, I start tracking again. I don't need to track anymore right now, but I, I start tracking again and I notice, oh my gosh, I only had 800 calories for the past two days you know, each day is no wonder I'm tired. And so I have to bump it up again. You know, I have to be vigilant um, that I'm getting enough calories. So, so you have to, that's you what have I would to, say. You have to keep a very, very strong watch on how much you're eating, what you're eating. You need to have your calculations very right. Record. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I think people, if you're noting that, if you're doing a keto diet, Erin says that you have to have your calorie count in a very, very proper manner. So that's a very important thing because I don't think till now anybody has told me about that. I've not researched so much on keto because I'm basically a foodie myself. So <laughs> I basically see food, I eat it. So I've been of that nature. But yes, you know, somewhere down the line, I've always wondered because a lot of people did tell me about keto when I was on the heavy side. Why don't you try keto? You try keto. But some of, there was so much on keto over here because there are a lot of people who give packed foods for ketos, they come and deliver the entire thing to you. So I don't know, maybe, maybe, you know, I should give it a try sometime. Now, my final question to you, Aaron, I know for a fact that every person needs a different workout. The same workout doesn't work for everybody. Okay. Does that imply also for a ketogenic diet? Does every, is it the same diet for everybody or is it, the, is it a different diet for everybody? Does it have to be personalized? Does it, you know, do you need to actually sit down with somebody, understand them, then personally set it for them? If yes, then what are the parameters and criteria that you create such a diet on? Could you give an example to the viewers? Uh, yes. Well, first of all, let me tell you, anyone who says there's one diet fits all is wrong. Um, what, um, just my example, PCOS, there are women who have you know, reverse their PCOS on a vegan diet, not ketogenic. There are people who do it like on paleo. There are people who do it like me. I had to go keto, right? Um, um, so we're all biologically different. And if somebody says this worked for me, this must work for you. If you're their biological twin, maybe that's going to work. But otherwise, um, you'll probably have to tweak it. I mean, maybe it will, but maybe it won't, right? Um, so in within keto, um, Yes, nutrition has to be individualized. Uh, I'll give you an example. Um, so I have some clients who are more metabolically ill. They struggle with, with chronic illness. And, you know, in the medical field, they use, they, they tend to keep these people at 20 total carbs per day or below, right? And um, whole foods diet, whole foods right? Um, and that is where they get these prescription strength benefits. So, you know, some of these people, they were on medications before, they're able to go off their medications, but they have to stay, you know, on the ketogenic diet because it's like their medication. Yeah, because they have a chronic illness and some, some of it isn't being healed. It's basically, you know, that they've transitioned, um, but they have to stay low enough to get the, the, the full benefits right? That take care of the symptoms. Now for somebody, you know, I have other clients who maybe just wanted to maybe do keto who aren't very obese. Yeah. They're a little bit more metabolically healthy. They just, they want to try it out. They're getting older. They can't lose these belly, a little bit of belly, even if they're jogging and you know, whatever. Um, and I just say, Hey, 50 grams or lower. Right. And they do fine and they lose the extra weight and they feel good. Right. And maybe they can transition off of a ketogenic diet and go into like low carb or something, you know, lower carb, but not keto. Right. So it, it, it really depends. And then everybody, you know, you have people who have um, food intolerances and, and other things like that. And um, you know, just, um, and some of it is actually trying things out. Right. Uh, we, you know, we go with the information we have, we try it out. Maybe we need to tweak carbs a little bit. Maybe we need to, you know, this, that, and the other, as it is with any diet. So, and I like to say, I mean, we, we talk about diet. I like to think of it as a lifestyle. Our health is a lifestyle. Mm. Um, and it includes movement and exercise. It includes nutrition, it includes self-care. Yeah. So, 
Um, so dieting, this quick fix diet, and then I'm going to go back to the way I was before. That's not, that's not a good idea, and it usually doesn't work doesn't work for most people and it just makes you miserable and hungry or it, you know or they think it doesn't work because they're like oh I lost all this 40 pounds and then oh I gained it all back well guess why you gained it back because you went back to do what you did before you didn't learn anything you know um, it's a lifestyle thing and, and we learn about it as we go and we you know, make the changes we need to so that, yeah. guys, guys that's you know her side of information that you've got even a ketogenic diet needs to understand the person. You need to frame it according to them. It's just not... A lot of time people see that this diet has worked for this person. Let me follow the same diet. And, you know, I should also see the differences. But it doesn't happen. At times it goes... It, it becomes worse. The diet makes them put on weight because that diet was not meant for them. So, you know, the, yeah, the, these, sure. are the, these are the fundamental mistakes you make. And as she said, quick fixes. Quick fixes are not going to take you anywhere. If you're looking for a quick fix... It's going to come back to you in, in a worse way. I, I have tried quick sure. fixes my whole life. It is only when I stopped trying quick fixes and went for the right fix is when I saw results. I saw sustainable results. So I think what Erin has yeah. spoken here, especially about the keto diet, is very important. You cannot expect a quick fix. So Erin, you've given us so much information today. What is your last punchline that you would like to tell my audience before you know you take off? Something about keto, something about energy, something that you would like to share to the with the viewers. I think I would say um, if I could share anything, and it's not necessarily about keto, and that's where I live, right in the keto world. But I would share um, that there there's a some generalizations that you know we could just give to everybody and say everybody could benefit from this. But I would say choose whole foods over processed foods and keep your added sugar intake low. And by added sugar, I just mean like anything you add to your food to make it sweeter the than it sugar. is. And, and um, also, you know, fruit, whole fruits is better than fruit juice. Um, and uh, so um, that's, I guess, my parting wisdom that I'll share. Well, Thank you so much. You're welcome. But before I, before we leave, I, I, what I will say is, guys, whatever you're trying, it can be a keto, it can be a regular diet, it can be whatever you want, even your workout. Whatever you're trying to do, see that you do a sustainable diet, a sustainable workout, something that goes with you for the larger portion of your life. Don't do something for, you know, for the moment and then forget it the next day. Do something that you can repeat every day on a sustainable note. I have always just said that let it be even a small change, let it be even a small workout or a small change in your meal, but let it be sustainable. Let it be sustainable for the next good part of your life. That's when you will see the results. That's when it will, you know, show you the results because, you know, when you do the right fix, it takes time to show you the results. It doesn't happen spontaneously. So have patience also. So that is what I would end my punchline with and i think erin has given you even a better one so erin i again thank you so much for you know coming to the show we're going to be doing more shows with you i'm going to be digging out more topics i am you know i am you must have understood i'm the researching type of person i keep finding out something and i think i've learned quite a bit about keto from this particular thing i already have ideas being cooked up in my mind so let's see what else i can come up with but for now let us tell bye to the audience and i thank you again for coming today. I uh, thank you for so much time. So as I said, she's the first international mm -hmm. fitness expert. It's a very big thing for us at the Hustling Muscles show. So Erin, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for coming. It was a pleasure having you. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and guys, this is Erin and Hustling Muscles signing out. Guys, I shall see you next week. We would be putting up more topics. We would be, I would be coming back with Dr. Mukherjee. I would be back with Gauri again and a few other girls and Erin would also be joining us. I would keep everybody posted. Guys, again, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching the show. If you've liked the show, do like it. Do share it with your friends. If you have any queries on keto, fitness, nutrition, health, DM me, DM Erin. Our handles are very much there. And do follow us. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. Again, thank you for, thank you for seeing the episode. Thank you, Erin. Take care. Bye.